Yo, what is up guys? Shinobi TV here back again with another video for you guys. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with some Honkai Star Rail news for it looks like the 1.1 bands because it looks like we got some leaks. And it's looking like from what we got here, and I had to look this up because that's how scarce leaks are right now. Uh, let me let me full screen this right here so you guys can get a good view. But it's looking like we got Silver Wolf, Yukong, and Lelucha. And Silver Wolf's probably gonna be your debuffer. And then you got two different supports. So we got like three different supporting characters here, which is absolutely nuts. I would just say that right now. That is absolutely nuts. Now, for the skills, we do have some information right here. But before we do get into this, please leave a like, subscribe to your channel if you guys wanna see more news coming from here when it comes to Honkai Star Rail, you know, who you should pull and all that good stuff because I'm going to try and keep up for the most part at least with you know current news or leaks or whatever might be coming out as long as you know we are sure of everything but looks like for the looks of it phase one is going to be Lelucia or Lelucia I cannot the five star elements going to be imaginary path obviously going to be the abundance he's going to be a supporter phase two will be you know still wolf quantum and she's basically in my opinion a better welt but for single target well, in my opinion, is good for multiple targets, and I feel like in the end game he's gonna be pretty good. But Silver Wolf is like the better version of him, but she only does single targets, and she's really, really good at that. So she's gonna be Quantum in the path of the Nihility. And then last but not least, you got phase two of Yu Kong, which is unconfirmed as of right now, but everybody's like going crazy for him right now. But this is unconfirmed currently, but he's supposed to be, it looks like a four star with possibly the imaginary and the path of the harmony. So, you got that as well. Now, my main concern personally is that they're making the same mistake that they usually do, where there's more five stars than there are four stars, which is, you know, Hoyo doing that. And they even got some leaks for 1.2 and 1.3. But me personally, I'm just going to focus on this. If we do get her, though, if we get, bro, I said, if we get her, I'm going to lose my shit, bro. I'm going to lose it because. I want her so bad. When she first appeared on screen, when we had to do the Kafka, the Kafka boss fight, oh my god, oh my god, it looked nuts. Woo! I, I really hope that's a good leap right there. But and then it, 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 the fact that we could possibly get Kafka and Blade, oh man, that's that's a whole nother thing. But as far as these three go, three best support. One of the, like they they really want you to summon. Like they said, yo, we gotta get these three out there just like that. Just like that, and me personally, out of all three of them, as far as the design goes, I like hers the most. Like, I really, really like hers the most. But once again, unconfirmed if we're actually getting her or not. But Jesus Christ, yeah. If you guys didn't, if you guys couldn't tell at this point, I, their species I already like. I'm down horrible out here. I don't care. I don't fucking care, bro. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's looking pretty good. Me personally, I'm gonna save. I'm saving, bro. Because for my current team that I got going on right now, I'm more of like, I got two teams currently, or two and a half. I have a team that is built just to be tanky as hell and clear content, so we ain't dying. And then I have another team that I'm still kind of fixing at the moment where it's basically like straight up attack. Like I'm just bum rushing the enemy. So for me personally, I feel like the support, specifically her, would be really good for me. Debuffing would also be nice. But, I don't know. It, it's crazy out here. It's really crazy. But, yeah, no, that's nuts. That's nuts. And the fact that we got all this going on is nuts. And then, let's not even talk about the fact that possibly for the next banner, we could be having stuff like March 7th and everything like that on there. Like, the four stars that we could get from the next banner are nuts. Not saying that the banner that we have already isn't nuts, because let's just be real. Pella is nice, in my opinion. In fact, out of all of them. Pella, Natasha, really nice, especially since Natasha is, as a healer, like, if you don't have, you know, Bailu, you didn't get lucky with her, then you need a healer, and for the, basically, endgame content, you're gonna need two healers, because you need your team of eight, so, not saying that the four stars that we're getting right now aren't good, but, let's just say that, yeah, now, nah, now, nah, I, I, I'm probably gonna end up saving, me personally, I'm saving, real hard and Yukong specifically I really really want her even though she's a she's a four star possibility possibly unconfirmed four star but either way that makes it even better because that's just gonna be more better that's gonna be more support for me she's most likely gonna end up being a buffer or a healer 
uh, cause her path is the harmony, so that's most likely we're gonna get right there. And then also it looks like we're getting a new boss, but you know, uh, I'm just gonna leave that to interpretation because you know, don't want to spoil it too much. But yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Don't know who like once again all this is just mostly leaks. We don't know how accurate the leaks might be, but for the most part, I think we're solid. And the fact that we're getting another four star that is really good for buffing, just love to see it. Love to see it. And then Silver Wolf once again to be most, in my opinion, most OP debuffer in the game for the longest time, for the longest time. But as for my advice to anybody watching this, me personally, I say summon for who you want. Don't even worry about it, because they want you to basically just go crazy. They want everybody to go nuts, be like, yo, I need to summon on this. But me personally, if you don't even want any of these characters, if you're summoning, if you're waiting for something like Kafka or maybe even Blade, or for me, like, you know, Fusion, like, 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 if you're just waiting for certain stuff, then just go ahead and do it. Like, it might seem painful at first, you know, seeing everybody doing these summons and everything like that, but that's the trap they want you to fall into. So me personally, do you. You know, if you want to summon for a favorite character, then unless it's like gonna be game breaking, like you need these characters to have a team with one of these, which we don't even know yet because we haven't seen all their skills, then I'd say just save for who you want. But well, for ado, this is gonna be Shinobi Eevee signing off. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think of the leaks, you know, the art and everything like that. And this guy is Shinobi Eevee signing off. I'll see you guys in another one. Peace.